Last week, Pope Francis wrote a letter to the people, the Christian people who live in the Holy Land, saying that the church is with you, we will never abandon you, we will stay with you. And, we call, and he called on, Pope Francis called on all the good people of the world to do what they can to support the Palestinian people at this moment of great crisis and destruction and oppression and war and deliberate starvation. So we are with you. Um, I wanted to say a, a big thanks to uh, Kiora Gaza, to Roger and the others who have done so much wonderful work for so many years in Kiora Gaza trying to break the blockade on Gaza. I want to just thank all of you who are here and have organised and mobilised and taken action and written letters and protested in the streets to demand that our government do more to support the cause of the Palestinian people because your actions are what changes government's actions. So thank you all of you from my heart. I wanted to particularly thank my three brother doctors here who are putting their lives on the line to go to Gaza and to stand with and to help those people there. As a person of faith, and I think I can say this for all people of faith who believe in a God, we believe that God is with you. We believe that you are doing the work of God because we believe as Muslims, as Christians, as Jews, people of other faiths as well, sheiks and others, would believe the same, that this work of healing people who are sick is God's work on earth and you are doing the work of God. So thank you so much for putting yourselves on the line. So, I was going to ask, uh, I offered as a minister in the church to give a blessing to these three doctors because they are going into a war zone and they are putting their lives on the line. And I'd like to thank, ask all of you who believe in God or believe in some higher spiritual power of good and justice and peace, please pray for our brothers and sisters, all those medical personnel and others who are going on through the Gaza because they are literally putting their lives on the line for someone else, the people that was going on suffering. So as I pray this prayer of blessing, asking God to protect you as you go, if you would like to pray with me, please raise your hand and pray along with me. Almighty God, we ask for your blessing of protection and help on these three brothers of ours, the other brothers and sisters who are travelling with them to Gaza, we know that you, they are doing your will, God. We know that you stand with the people of Palestine in their time of suffering. We know that you want to end all war and violence. We know that you want to feed the people who are starving to death, who are being deliberately starved to death in, in Gaza right now. We know that you want to heal those who are sick and injured and suffering all sorts of diseases because of what Israel is doing to the people of Gaza. We know that you stand with our brothers and sisters who are going to help them. And we ask, Almighty God, for your blessing upon these wonderful people who are going to Gaza, that you protect them, that you keep them safe, that you help them to be effective in their work. And may Almighty God bless you in the name of all those who believe. Oh, Thank you. For they are jolly good people, for they are jolly good people, for they are jolly good people, and so say all of us, and so say all of us, and so say all of us, for they are jolly good people, for they are jolly good people, for they are jolly good people. And so say